gorgeous animals. Now, have you ever had a nagging feeling about someone or something and felt you needed to know just a little bit more? Well, that's exactly what hundreds of private investigators are hired to do every day in this country. From corporate cover-ups to domestic differences, you can hire an investigator to do the dirty work for you. It's totally legal and often their discoveries are used in court. Now, this week, hundreds of private investigators from around the world have converged in Halifax for the 2008 annual general meeting of the Council of International Investigators. Among them is Fred Dumal. He spent 25 years in federal law enforcement until 13 years ago when he started his own private investigations firm, CSI Inc. He joins us this morning and we thank him for that. You're also incoming president of the council. Yes, Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Now, CSI, how similar is real life to the TV show? It's not even close. Not even mm -hmm. close. Didn't think CSI so. CSI is basically, that's what it is. It's just TV, uh, nothing like that. Some of the some of the things they do uh, are are real, but the process and all that is not even close. Uh, what are the differences? I'm guessing time is up. well. Yeah, time. I mean, they'll they you'll often see them. They'll scan for fingerprints, and they just scan it on a computer, and they have the match in in minutes. Well, that doesn't happen. Like How that. long does it take? Well, uh, fingerprint matching is tedious. You uh -huh. actually have to look down at the fingerprint, and you know, with the eye, and you you match it with the the unknown print. So. There's a lot of differences. It could like take that. you a full day to find uh, that one fingerprint. Yeah. 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 Uh, who needs private investigators? Who who would hire a private investigator? Well, just about anybody nowadays. It, um, you know, professional investigators are hired by uh, corporations, um, individuals, small businesses. Um, uh, so it's just about anybody that would hire them. So I mean, if a, a small business or a corporation has an internal fraud. Um, then they may hire a uh, professional investigator to come in and, and uh, investigate it for them because the police just don't have the time or the resources um, to look after all of the crimes that are going on out there. And the police do focus mostly on crimes. Uh, you even do domestic type things. So if you're, yeah. you're suspicious of, you know, uh, I don't know, a spouse or something like that, although I guess that's not really that's, where you focus. There are some, you know, private investigators that do that. That's a, such a small percentage of them. Um, you know, our organization, most professional investigators now are, are just that professional and they're looking for more of the corporate crimes and mm -hmm. civil uh, matters, international intelligence gathering, uh, and those types of things. So. And as we said in the intro, a lot of these findings are actually used in court. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, when uh, you got to think a private investigator is exactly the same as a, uh, a municipal detective. Mm -hmm. These, they're out there, they're interviewing, looking for witnesses, they're talking to people, getting ev gathering evidence, they're collecting evidence, they're, they're um, tracking people down. And many times that stuff is, is put together and presented in a court. I mean, that's uh, the same as a, a local police officer would do. You're investigating, you're talking to people, you've got to be pretty good at figuring out who's being truthful, who's not. What are some of the telltale signs that somebody might be? Uh, yeah. less than honest with you. <laughs> well, that, again, that depends on the scenarios. Mm -hmm. I mean, it depends on what type of interview you're doing because there's many types of interview. Mm -hmm. There's interrogation type interviews, there's just you know, uh, information gathering interviews. Um, and, you know, we'll look at body language, language, we'll look at a lot of different things. You know, the way people write. You know, sometimes you have somebody write a statement and you can analyze that to see if they're telling the truth. Sometimes really? It's, yeah, sometimes it's about body oh. language, facial expressions. A lot of things that takes years and years of uh -huh. experience to learn how to do. Uh, do you do you have children yourself? Can yep. you tell if they're lying to you? <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe 50 percent of the time I might have been right. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit also about this conference. So mm -hmm. who's coming into town? Why is this a big deal? Well, the, the Council of International Investigators uh, is uh, an elite group of investigators from around the world. Uh, these are probably the finest investigators in their fields around the world. And every year we meet in a different country um, to hold our annual general meeting. And uh, we have, uh, I think this year we have 17 or 18 different countries represented wow. at this one. Uh, they come from as far away as China, Vietnam, uh, all through the states, uh, all through Europe. Um, and we meet once a year to uh, discuss business. We bring in seminar speakers to uh, do professional development. Um, and we can exchange ideas about how things are working in different countries in the world because we often are dealing with other countries. Mm -hmm. I, I may be here in Halifax, but many times 
I'm talking or my client wants me to find out something in China or Vietnam or the United States or wherever. So we have to understand how those countries work, what their privacy laws are, and that type of thing, so that we know how to get that information out. And you, and you need an updated passport, I guess, yeah, too. Yeah, always, huh? always, yeah. <laughs> we want to tell people that your company is CI, CSI uh, Investigations, yeah. uh, and you can get more information on the conference by going to CSI Two or CII2.org. CII2. CII2. Uh, and that uh, will jump up on your screen there. And uh, we thank you so much for coming You're in. Pretty welcome. interesting. I bet there are going to be some great characters in town this We're looking week. Looking forward to it. Good stuff. Thank you, okay. Fred Dumel. Time to take.